I was born in Penang, but I grew up in Singapore. And of course, growing up in a Singapore environment as a Christian, you have no choice but to support Israel. So when Israel won the Six Day War, my church was celebrating, Singapore was celebrating, okay? And I didn't realize the suffering of all the Arab nations, including the Palestinians, okay? The occupation, I didn't know. In 1982, I was already in London, and I saw the television which covered the news like that. Israel has gone into Lebanon to flush out the PLO, and Lebanon is being bombed and destroyed because they harbor the PLO. So I just thought that it's a war against terrorism. But when you look at the news bulletin, the people killed were children, women, old people, schools were destroyed, hospitals were destroyed, factories were destroyed. So I was wondering, what is all this about? And uh, of course, the Christian in me knows that this is wrong because killing human beings is wrong. And God didn't command us to kill people. He commanded us to love people. So when an appeal came from Christian Aid asking a surgeon to go out and help the wounded, I decided to volunteer myself. I resigned from my job, thinking that I'll just go and help whatever I can, and after a few weeks, I come home. But when I went to Lebanon, the destruction was even worse than what the television showed because the television has censored out all the gruesome bits. And I landed up in a Palestinian refugee camp. So it is like discovering another story. So the Palestinians were not terrorists. The Palestinians were a people. And from them, I learned the history of Palestine, how these people in 1948 lost their homes. And I realized that my church got it wrong. The press got it wrong. Justice is not done. The truth is not being told. 3,000 people were killed in three days. People who never carried a gun in their lives. Old people, women, children, all murdered. Okay. You know, children who died. Women who were raped in front of their families. My nurses who were killed. The international community not caring. In fact, if I go on, I probably you bring tears to all of you. So, you know, I remember standing in front of the dead bodies and uh, I felt that my heart was broken, that Sabra and Shatila, 82. And basically, you know, I said, God, forgive me. It is not Israel or the Christians or this or that or that or even America. It is my heart because I've been prejudiced and blind and I've taken sides without understanding the victims. Forgive me. But repentance is one thing. In Christianity, repentance doesn't mean saying sorry, you know. It's not enough. Repentance means change of life, giving your life to do something different. I said for 33 years, I've been supporting Israel against the Palestinians. I've not heard their cries. Please give me the rest of my life to work with them and to work for them and to support them. And that's my prayer to God, and I think He answered me.